there is massive, massive abundance that is like just you're so coming closer and closer into alignment with this thing and all your triggers that you're dealing with right now are because the abundance is knocking at your shield, knocking at your defense mechanism that you created to protect yourself from something that happened a million years ago. And it's knocking not to, you know, totally ruin your life for a few days, but to be like, hey, this is in the way from me fully embodying within you. So your triggers, especially the last few weeks, like they're really um, hitting some pretty like old familiar intensities that like, oh, we're, we're still here. Like we're, we're still here. So it's all good. And if you've been watching my videos, we know we're in some kind of a clearing, um, integration moment that is simultaneously allowing us to be more embodied in this abundance of a truer version of ourselves, which then will be reflected on the outside. And all those dreams that you have had for the last three to five years of what you have been working toward manifesting, this is this prep phase to kind of finally rid. And, you know, if you go way back when I decided to commit to YouTube, which was in January this year, Black Panther was our um, mascot for the year. And I say in this video that Black Panther was going to lead us to another animal. And I had always felt like I never announced it, which I guess I'm going to be announcing it at my um, I Am The Abundance live YouTube workshop all in the comfort of our homes, friends. I am doing a big freaking workshop. I'm doing it here. I'm doing it live. And we're doing it freaking together because it's time for all of us to go. You like the more people we get aligned with this energy, it actually like my healing energy and your healing energy is going to amplify their energy. We're all amplifying each other and we're empowering each other in this workshop through just being together. So I will be announcing the animal that the whole point of Black Panther, who's a lot about facing our fears has been leading us to for the year of 2024, which is going to be who we're really going to like also meet in 2025. And this, um, this thing that has been going on, especially in the last like five to six weeks, more or less, this clearing phase also is, is, I, what I've been understanding, it's, it's not so much like get it out. It's, it's the exact opposite. It's integrate it. It's, and then that, and then clear some kind of defense mechanism. So it's clearing and integrating at the same time, because once you integrate those aspects of yourself, then it clears for this abundance to come in. So if you've been getting hit with some like, like on a weekly basis by like, wait, now this, now this, now this, this old thing coming back again, like, um, it, it's a part of this clearing phase and the biggest action of all the actions right now is like this really loving, compassionate, like, I want you to like, oh, you still feel this way. Like, oh my God, this still hurts you? Like, compassion, 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 compassion is going to be so monumental in healing and integrating this thing and, and a speedier recovery of not escaping that feeling through whatever you've done in the past to avoid fully feeling it, which a lot of times can just be like... um trying to be super positive and like, screw that. I don't want to feel it. Like there's something that needs to be held. Like you're still hurt. 
And as long as you're still hurt by that thing, it will kind of keep coming back in your life in different ways. And it's cool because the, the medicine is not about some crazy mastering and detaching and getting over it. It's just compassion. Like, like imagine you saw yourself, um, like this aspect of yourself and it's kind of been suffering and like wanting to die to be reborn for like a long time. But for some reason you've been like keeping, it's been trying to keep itself alive because it thinks it needs to keep you safe. So it's like this crippled, like can hardly breathe (sighs) bony version of yourself that lives in you. That's like, I'm trying to keep you safe. And like, it's just totally gnarly. And like, you look at it and you're like, oh my God, like, what? Like, even if you go a step further, if that's hard for you even to connect to yourself like that, like an an injured animal who's like suffering so hard. And it's like, oh my God, if you could just like allow, like, you don't have to protect me anymore. Like, I love you. I have all this compassion for you. And if you can just like, you know, it's okay for you to like, because I don't even want to say the word die because there's some kind of transmutation when it can just like let go. It doesn't have to like hold on to these defense mechanisms, which is the story it's telling you. It's telling you some really messed up story because it thinks that if you believe that story, it will keep you safe. But it's on like a kindergarten freaking level of understanding Because whatever happened to you was from the past and it was a child's perception of reality. Now you're an adult. So we want to allow and just give compassion and and allow this thing um, to play out and not pushing it to heal and not pushing it to change and not pushing anything. All it needs is compassion. And it's just, uh, yeah, I'm just like feeling that deeply as I speak and it's like I can get that compassion for that aspect of all of us you know it's like it's like this beautiful wounded creature that is like you don't have like you it you can't even protect me anymore in fact you're doing the exact opposite but like you're so sweet and annoying for trying to um so it's hurt and it needs you to have compassion. That's it. Compassion. So, um, I'm Cara Elizabeth. I'm the author, illustrator, and creator of Animal Apothecary Card Deck. Guys, this deck is awesome. Each card is medicine. Each card is a prescription. Each card is something that is here to empower you. This is for your empowerment. And then we're also going to be used, and it's on Amazon, it's everywhere, it's international. Also, my new card deck, which I'm still creating, it's not out yet, um, it is called Body Tech. So, it's called Body Tech, using the wisdom of our bodies to, because our bodies are the original tech. It is the thing we can use to transmute, to heal, to manifest. So, aligning our vision with our bodies we can do amazing things and sign up for my email list. Soon I'm going to be posting everything about the November Sunday, November 10th, the live. I am the abundance workshop where we are really going to be, um, integrating these aspects through voice medicine, through body tech, which is body movement through animal manifesting, which is journeying with animals that symbolize certain things and getting them on board and allowing them to share their wisdom and medicine with us. We will be, I mean, it'll just be really freaking awesome and probably like something you've never done before unless you've done one of my workshops. And we're, what I love about having so many of us participating in this, because look at, hopefully you can be there live, but whenever even if you participate in something, even if it's after the energy of that, the essence of that thing, because everything is now, it's all now. So whenever you're watching it, it's still now. So 
when we have a bunch of people that with a clear same vision, right? We're all like in a very broad sense, this workshop is about becoming your most empowered freaking self. Yes, it's called I am the abundance, but at the end of the day, any work you do with me is to be freaking empowered and own your em- own your power, okay? And embody your power and utilize your power to not only feel empowered and uplifted, but to use your gifts to serve humanity in the most epic freaking way. So when we're aligning with a bunch of other people with this clear vision of empowerment, we're actually sharing our own energy. Like, so my energy where I'm empowered and like your energy, maybe you're like empowered in this kind of way and I'm empowered in this kind of way. We're actually going to be sharing our energies together so that you maybe share some of your medicine with where where I need it and vice versa. So it's super freaking cool. Sign up. Um, So I'll be sending an email blast and everything with the exact time, but it is Sunday, November 10th. Um, live on YouTube, email list below. Okay, let's do a quick, a quickie. Take a big deep breath in. Okay, oh, these cards are out. Just think of whatever is just triggering you right now. This fell out. Um, we're going to pull two more cards. Just think of this trigger. Okay. Now think of there's this like abundance knocking on the door to like come in, right? There's this abundance. It's just right freaking here. It's like so close. And just start allowing yourself just to receive this abundance. See yourself just it like melting into you. Pulling two cards for that. And then any love and wisdom with however we should work through this right now. Just the triggers coming up, the compassion, the facing these old stories. Two cards. And then we're going to pull... Two from the body tech. (sighs) Breathe in. (sighs) Two, actually one more. Okay. (laughs) Of course. All right. So interesting. All right. I'm like, okay. Let's start with what our trigger wants to share with you. You're in the midst of a huge preking, huge preking. You're in the midst of a huge preking. Instead of freaking, I'm going to say preking. You're in the midst of a huge preking transformation. So, um, but look at how the Phoenix is almost out of the fire and that you're not this version of yourself and all this stuff you've been going through each of these layers, this trigger each week, each week, each like, Oh my God. It's a transformation. There's this alchemy that is happening. It is not just, this is not the like, here we go again. Another like 15 freaking year cycle of this thing that I've already been dealing with for the past 15 years, just like always coming up because I can never seem to freaking heal it or clear it or integrate it. No, this is the inner freaking gration. You are in the integration phase. So what is happening, you're at the tail end of this like, this like really stingy kind of moment before you kind of, before you get a little bit of a break and then there's going to be more transformation and all that hell. But like there is like these little rest periods for yourself, but you're almost out of this and it's leading to this version of yourself who is so freaking in their authenticity, who is so in their true self. And because when we see animals, one with, um, lots of color, that is self-expression, that is truth expression. And that, when we see animals with color and flight, that is freedom. There's some kind of liberation in who you are, in the truth of who you are that is coming through whatever trigger this is. All right, so we see this door, we see woodpecker knocking on its head and it's leading to the bee, this, like, okay. So 
Woodpecker can knock its head on a piece of wood up to 12,000 times a day. So this talks about there's been a lot of like you've done you've done this before. You've seen this before and it it kind of just like what I just said like it feels like what's new? I I know this trigger. I recognize this trigger. It's been around for most of my life and now it's just going to continue because no matter all the freaking work I do, it just seems to like just always cycle back to this. But this is saying through, yes, although it maybe feel like 12,000 times, that there is going to be this moment where you finally break through and this door opens to this cat. The red door is about opportunity, that there's some kind of opportunity in this trigger, that there is something that it aligns. Like this trigger you're dealing with right now is about getting into a fuller alignment with your purpose because B is about your purpose, that you have this gift that you're meant to share with others. So there is some thing happening for you right now that is leading to this bigger level of fulfillment for you and there's an opportunity that's coming out of this trigger and that it's in you. The cowardly lion um, was actually never cowardly. He was courageous the whole time, but he thought he had to get the thing outside of him. He thought he had to go seek it outside of himself, but the whole time he was seeking it, ironically, he was it. So it's saying you already are the thing you seek. You already are what you're trying to heal. You already are that healed version. So I would say in addition to compassion, know that you have already healed this thing, okay? There's just like one last piece of this puzzle, this trigger, this compassion, but you already are the healed version. You already are like... And there's that duality. Can you hold both worlds? Can you be the healed version and share compassion with the version of you that lives in you that is is ready to to like die and transmute and transform into what I think is going to be a big freaking up level for you? I think that this trigger is is coming around. Because there is something so clear about that version of you is is no longer helpful and that this new version is waiting to be um, actualized and it's already in you. So focusing on that too. Your abundance, which is like, duh, buffalo abundance, prayer answered, act as if your prayer has been answered. You're being asked to know that whatever's the challenge right now, that whatever you've been trying to seek and, and attain within yourself, it's done. You have to act as if your prayer has been answered. You have to know that it's already in you and that you get yet another B. So there's this Buffalo abundance, right? Of this like, Abundance on the inside, outside, but really what is happening is you are aligning more attuned with what your purpose is and you're about to shine, but you're just in this like before time where this is about you cultivating your light and you protecting your light and you shielding what no longer serves you. So there's some kind of shine of your, like the abundance, like of your shine reaching in ways that you have never reached before that is happening for you in through this abundance coming now how to work through this the guidance from how to work through this I love this so (laughs) see beyond the past let go and bury what did I say something is ready to die the the story the ugly duckling who turns to be this unique beautiful black swan but then sees themselves as the child self who is like a cute little gangly gray swan kid who got made fun of by tons of other ducks. Look, he's crying. So this beautiful, unique black swan sees himself as this hurt made fun of not good enough ideal version of himself as a kid. And like the distortion, see the waves or even it's like such a distortion And it's such like a diss to like God or the creator, like I'm not even honoring how freaking amazing I am. So there is something about like, you are not that version. 
that version is also coming up and hijacking you because you're about to level up. That version is like, no, I don't want to die, but it is time to let it freaking die and bury. Scorpion fly is the first on the scene when there's a dead cadaver. So it's almost like it is dead, but you're still carrying it. You're carrying around a dead, gross, old story and... I think to really just like let this thing kind of go, it's through like just have this compassion for it. And then what does our body say? Black Panther comes up. This chick dressed up as a Black Panther. Do not be afraid. There is nothing to fear. This is the idea of doing Panther Paw when you're in the trigger or just any moment. <sighs> just taking away the veils, just taking away all the layers, you know, using your body just in any way and specifically in panther paw way to just like remove these things. And then you include your breath (laughs) to remove this illusion that is, is been strangling you. There is nothing to fear. Everything is working out. Everything is actually working out. And the, um, I heard, I think his name is David Bear. He has this podcast and he said this like genius thing that when you're in fight, flight, or freeze, that is actually your body's lie detector telling you that a lie is happening. And it's not so much like, I'm not talking about if you're like crossing the street and there's a car or something traumatic and you're reacting in a certain way. I'm talking about the kind of thing of, the story that this, your nervous system has been hijacked and now there's a story attached to that. And it usually has something to do with, I'm unsafe, I'm not good enough, I'm, you know, this is too good to be true. I, you know, that is the lie. The story it's telling you is the freaking lie. And that this whole thing is that you're the freaking gift. And this body movement, Sat Kriya, I have a video, just type in however you want to spell it, Sat Kriya, and I'll link it. And this is about really moving any stuck sexual energy and aligning it, getting it to shoot up your chakras to really clear, because our sexual energy is our create, creative force. It's creation, it's chi, it's everything. So if you have stuff stuck down here, it can either make you really overly sexualized or deeply under sexualized and, you know, can really inhibit you from certain levels of, you know, feeling empowered and, and receiving wealth in abundance and being able to create the life of your dreams. So this movement is super powerful to make you shiny and magnetic and move this energy. So just put Sat Kriya, but this is like, what I think this whole thing is leading to is really realizing that you're the gift and that being you is the blessing and that being you is the best thing in the world and that you are so lucky to be you. And there is some path that is being revealed to you that is not quite like what you thought. So we have green emeralds here, right? So, you know, Emerald City and then this path that the emerald is sharing with this person like no this way is the better way and it's not always like what you may have expected so emerald when it was being created you know millions of years ago in the andes mountains in colombia so i'm speaking about colombian emerald which is the most beautiful and known for its certain particular type of green was created because in you know through the evolution of our planet and in the Andes mountains these water shoots would go up through the earth and just then disperse into the air when they shot out of the earth but others would hit this black this water would hit this black slate it would change the tra- trajectory i always have a pro- hard time saying that word and then create this pool of water that then had the minerals to facilitate the growth of the emerald that looks that specific type of green that we only see in Colombia. So this is saying if something kind of steered you in a different direction, it is only for something way better to happen to you. If something is is like 
happening like a trigger that's like throwing you off balance, that's good because something is happening that is leading you to something that without that little shift for you, this thing that is now coming for you is so much more better and shiny and brilliant and beautiful. All right, guys, I love you. Remember, sign up for my email list. Get all the deets on the I Am The Abundance workshop. I love you forever. And just take really quick a moment. Take a big deep breath in. Sigh out. (sighs) Open your hands. Just see yourself as a shining light. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Say a prayer to life to heal whatever is going on. And now share that loving, healing energy. See your light going across the entire globe, healing all the people in the wars right now that just need love, healing um, all the animals, healing all the, all the peoples. That was a sign that it's working. It's working. And healing Mother Earth, just share your light. Share your light. The more of us that do this together, the 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 bigger it works. Okay, take one more deep breath in. Sigh out. And you know it, world peace forever. Sign up for my email list.